Hello everybody and welcome to a special episode. I'm Shira91 and today instead of at least going through a level like I used to I figured I'd go ahead and do a special episode like have a fun little episode where instead of Going through the level and stressing me out to no end I figured why not make this episode a little fun for myself besides after beating the Mandarin I think I deserved it so let's have some fun today, shall we? So let's go into Stark's lab, shall we? And on the party today is only Deadpool. Because I want to. So let's go. All right, let's have a look around and have Deadpool talk to Jarvis. Greetings. I trust all went well in Atlantis. All this commotion with the S.H.I.E.L.D. personnel has me somewhat flustered, I'm afraid. And then there's the matter of the seedy characters lurking about. You mean about. Weasel? Yes, I find this Mr. Weasel to be quite unnerving. You never know where he's gonna pop up next. Sorry, Jarvis, but Weasel needs to be kept to be our little secret. Not to worry. The shield personnel will not find out about him from me. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. I'm not really feeling well. It was my, pleasure. my nose has been stuffy and I've actually been a little sluggish recently. I'm just getting into the swing of everything. But speaking of Weasel, let's have a talk with him. Hey, what up? Oh uh, yeah, the shield priority database. I never really got through with that, didn't I? Oh, that's where data for all the super secret projects is kept. I've never hacked it before, but I've always wanted to. Oh yeah, the shield priority database is like... It's like one of the holy grails of hacking. Oh, and the hackers. I actually forgot to go through that in my last episode before I started on Mandarin's Palace. I'll go ahead and go through that one for you guys. So that way y'all know what to do and how to handle it. They are the creme de la creme of computer geeks. CB and Barrage are the only two guys who've made their way into S.H.I.E.L.D. files. Well, and live to tell about it. But you're not sure you can trust them. I'd like to think there's honor amongst thieves, but uh, either one of those guys could turn me in. Just for just. Hey, for if the they turn you in, that's one less person to be bothered with. But if you really want to find out about what the Black Widow is up to, you really need to have Weasel on your team. And thankfully, he is not a fighter. Now before I start on the I know which hacker you should talk to, we're going to go ahead and talk to The Vision and Hank Pym, if I'm correct. <clears throat> well, my throat's been bugging me. I hope it doesn't give me problems today. Now I'm going to try not to spend too much time on this because I want to go ahead and go to our next headquarters later. Let's talk to Vision. Welcome. Do you have a question for me? Yes, I do. Uh, we're just going to skip the Mandarin and the Valley of Spirits. I never really talked to anyone because I just wanted to get it over with. Because I was sticking around for too long and I got tired of it. Barrage. Yes. He is a computer criminal from Canada, wanted in several countries for ID theft. Is he talented? Definitely. Barrage has executed several very sophisticated crimes, but I would recommend you stay away from him. And why is that? He is not trustworthy. The last time he was caught, Barrage gave the authorities the names of his accomplices in exchange for his freedom. Alright, does he know C.B. Sobralski? No. But Hank Pym might. Okay. Thank you, Vision. I am glad to be of assistance. Hi. It's good to see you. I hope you're ready for Mandarin, because he's no pushover. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a glitch, but 
We'll see how it goes. Zabolsky? Oh yeah. I knew him back at MIT. A real computer genius. Too bad he ran with a hacker crowd. On a dare. CB tapped into the financial system of a major electric company and gave everyone 50 cents off their next Hey, bill. that's pretty cool. But was he caught? Yeah, but I've got to hand it to CB. He never gave up the names of the other hackers he worked with, even when he was threatened with jail. All right, so <coughs> we already talked no, to Barroge. Try vision. I bet. No problem. And come back anytime you want. So, let's go back to Weasel and see, and let him know who we can let him trust. That he can trust someone. This is so weird. I'm sorry. It's just how the running is. So, let's go. Hey, what up? All right. Baroge is not a person we can trust, but CB Sapolsky is. Now, I already chose him because, like I said, I didn't want to waste time and get it over with. And I wanted to get this episode over with. And I was also on a very strict time limit. Like I said, I'm trying to keep these videos less than, yeah, more than 20 minutes, but less than 40. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, I sincerely apologize for it. So, what I am going to do is save and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. So, let's see if we can go into the Mandarin's castle, or to our new headquarters. Whee! Yep. That was flawless. Hi, what's new? Let's go to the new headquarters. And while that happens, I'm going to turn my mic off, and I'm going to watch what will happen next so I'll be right back Greetings, my friends, and welcome to my home, the Sanctum Sanctorum. I realize an aging townhouse in Greenwich Village doesn't quite match the opulence of Stark Tower, but I think you'll find it comfortable. The rest of our team has already moved in. I would suggest you talk to Colonel Fury first. He has information concerning our next mission. Okay, I am back. And what we just saw was Nightcrawler trying to get out. I'm honestly used to talking and narrating all that, but I'm going to try and ease up on it. And looks like this is the Sanctum Sanctorum, Sanctorum for Doctor Strange. So I'm going to pick up this gym and we'll move upstairs. Uh, sorry about that, I was drinking some water. Oh, hi, Doctor Strange. I can't talk to him. Oh, well. I'm going down the hallway. And... Team, boom. welcome to our new headquarters. The home of Doctor Stephen Strange. We moved because now that Loki's involved, we're gonna need magic. And there's no better place on Earth for magic than the Sanctum Sanctorum. 
Professor Xavier has located one of his X-Men in Doctor Doom's castle. That means Latveri is your next stop. For more info, talk to Black Widow. Okay. You're free to explore your new HQ, but when you're ready to start the mission, use the orb of teleportation near Wong. There is the Black Widow. Hello. Welcome to the Sanctum Sanctorum, our new headquarters. Well, Loki's ploy worked. He tricked us into going to Mandarin's palace, leaving Doom free to kidnap Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Yes. He is somewhere in the Castle Doom, and that is exactly where you are headed. I would advise extreme caution. Doctor Doom is not to be underestimated. When you are ready to leave, use the orb of... Located in Latveria's capital city, it looks like nothing more than a medieval castle, but it houses some of the most advanced technology on Earth. Huh, a medieval castle oh, that houses the most advanced technology? Then it's not really a castle then, is it? I guess it's just a warehouse for advanced technology nowadays. Doom prefers to use robots <coughs> for security. These Doom bots, as they are called, closely resemble the man who created them. As if his ego wasn't big enough. They were visiting Dr. Moira McTaggart on Muir Island when an army led by Ultron attacked. Not seriously. Ultron's team did not waste time with unnecessary battle. They fought their way into the lab area, trapped the X-Men in containment fields, and then teleported out. Originally, I was a ballerina. But at the news of my husband's death, I became a spy for the KGB. I discovered the truth, that my husband was alive. He had become an agent known as the Red Guardian, and his superiors wished him to sever all ties to his past. Alright, thank you for the briefing there, Black Widow. It was no trouble at all. Let's go into Dr. Strange's room. Okay, never mind. Let's go. There is Wong. Hello, I am Wong, Doctor Strange's assistant. It is a mystical device recently created by Doctor Strange. It aids him in reaching the dark dimension where his friend Cleo resides. Not at all. Once I have attuned it to the proper location, <coughs> you may use it any time you like. Oh boy. Of all the days I have a sore throat, it has to be on a fun day like this. This is the Sanctum Sanctorum. Oh well. It is built upon a focal point for supernatural energies, and is the home of my teacher, Dr. Strange. This is where Dr. Strange conducts various experiments into the mystical world. It also houses his vast collection of occult objects. Thank you, Wong. You have a good day. It was no trouble at all. He bows with honor. Such a cool dude. Hi. What can I do for you? That's the orb of teleportation. It's for transporting people to different locations. Yes. I guess since he's the Sorcerer Supreme, He's the only one who could create such a powerful, magical item. Thank you, Hank. Ah, don't worry about it. <clears throat> so far, there is no special conversation. Mirror the Ancient One. A blurry image appears in the mirror, and then shapens to show a very old man floating in a void. Who would dare disturb my meditation? Grampy, is that you? Wow, you got a lot older, and uglier too! Oh, Deadpool, that's not nice. Of course, I really shouldn't be saying that it's not nice around you because really you don't have a very, well, grasp of holding on to your tongue. You buffoon! I am not your grandfather. I am the Ancient One, teacher of Doctor Strange. You buffoon! I am not your grandfather! 
<laughs> oh my god, that's funny. <sighs> I already love this conversation already. It's fun. Are you sure you're really grouchy, just like Grampy was? Huh? My grandpa never was. Yes, I am quite certain I am not related to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am quite certain I am not related to you, you idiot. <laughs> oh my god, that is priceless. <laughs> oh, this really helped make my day. Gee, Grampy used to call me that. Usually, after I woke him up from a nap, by shoving an ice cube down the back of his shirt. <laughs> oh boy. Please be silent. I know your heroes have banded together to battle the masters of evil. Uh. It's strange, no. <laughs> I will be watching over you. Oh, uh, that's rich. I'll tell him. Thanks, Grampy. Thanks, Grampy. <laughs> oh, I needed that. I really, really needed that. Especially for this sore throat I have. I wonder if I could impose on you to locate the book entitled A History of the Arcane. Wong said it would be located somewhere in this house. Sure thing, Vision. You know Latveria. Latveria is a tiny country in Europe, located near Hungary. It's a haven for gypsies, one of the few people Dr. Doom takes an interest in. Huh, I didn't know Dr. Doom was interested in gypsies. Surprisingly well. There's virtually no crime because the country is patrolled by an army of robots. And thanks to Doom's genius in weaponry, Latveria is considered by many to be a superpower. Huh. He's the son of Lothi, king of the Frost Giants. Odin took the infant Loki as his own son after defeating Loki <coughs> in battle. Yes, but as the two boys grew, so did Loki's hatred of Thor and his desire to rule Asgard. All right, thank you, Vision. Let's pour in some more water. I have like these little jugs in general, about three of them filled with water. You're welcome. I'll talk to the mirror later. I would love to hear Deadpool's special conversation with Professor Xavier. The Masters of Evil recently abducted two of my X-Men, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler. Colonel Fury has placed a priority on saving them. Apparently, he feels that by locating the wayward X-Men, you will also uncover the headquarters of the Master. Yes, with the aid of Cerebro, I've discovered Nightcrawler is in Latveria. Nightcrawler's location really comes as no surprise. Although I must admit I'm puzzled as to why Gene isn't with him. Hmm. I wonder that too. Actually, the better question for me to ask is why was Gene kidnapped too? If they just needed Nightcrawler. But there's no time to hesitate. To get to Latveria, use Doctor Strange's Orb of Teleportation. It will send you there instantly. I'm gonna go ahead and take some pain relief for a time and all. All right. This is an uplink beast created, so that I can access all of Cerebro's functions, even though I'm miles away. There. It's a large device. Hopefully, it will help with my sore throat. The X Mansion. <coughs> I use it to locate mutants around the world. No, but it can be dangerous to the untrained mind. That's why I will only allow the most experienced of telepaths to use it. Jean Grey and Emma Frost are both quite skilled at working with Cerebro. His real name is Kurt Wagner, and he's perhaps the kindest soul I've ever met. Hailing from Germany, he is devoutly religious, despite his somewhat devilish appearance. Oh yes, he's been with the team for years. His mutant ability to teleport has saved the X-Men hundreds of times. Gene is quite a talented what? telepath. 
and very powerful well, that actually worked for me. More so than she realizes. And that power carries a grave danger. What danger is that? If she expends too much energy, there is a chance her personality will be consumed by the Phoenix. The Phoenix is a malevolent entity capable of great destruction. Thank you for the information, Professor. Of course. Come back anytime. I honestly would have laughed if Deadpool would have caused, would have had a special little um, conversation with Professor Xavier. That would have been so funny. <clears throat> I'd probably laugh too, almost to the point I'd laugh out of my chair. Things were a little touch and go at Mandarin's palace, but the team did a good job. I'm sure you'll have no trouble in my area. Thank you, Colonel. I invited him because he's the only one who can locate the missing X-Men quickly. Xavier is one of the most powerful telepaths on Earth. And there's that added incentive that he's the leader of the X-Men. Shield analysts think it has something to do with the theft of the mutant amplifier from the Omega base. If the mutant amplifier were used on Nightcrawler, he could teleport anywhere in the world. Huh. And with Jean Grey... I don't honestly hate to think of that either. I hate to think what could <clears throat> if her psychic powers were augmented and then she transformed into the Phoenix, she could tear the Earth apart without giving it a second thought. Ooh, that would be very, very terrifying. Jeez. <sighs> oh my god, my throat. It was originally created to battle Hydra, a terrorist organization run by Baron Wolfgang von Strucker. Yes. There was a time when S.H.I.E.L.D. became so large it suffered from traitors within the organization. But with people like the Black Widow in key positions, we'll never have that problem again. Thanks, Colonel. No problem. Hey, let's go upstairs. I was keeping an eye on somebody. Oh. humans. I am Clea, Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension and friend Can to Can we look Dr. around Strange. here? Yes, but be wary. This is where Dr. Strange stores arcane objects. Most are harmless. Okay, thank you. She doesn't really go far. Nah, hey, weasel! That name you gave me, C.B. Sobolski, <laughs> was perfect. And there we go, C.B. Sobolski. Just remember, CB Sobrowski. And the password you need to get before you go to the Omega base is Gabriel Jones, if I'm correct. I'm trying to remember. It's been a while. Yeah, he said all I need was a shield security module. A shield security module. Would you module. mind talking to the Vision? I bet he has Okay, one. we'll look for him as soon as we look for the book. So... Either way. Now, since I already did this recently, I know who to go, how to get it, so, or, it's straight up. Come on. There we go. A simulator disc, and it is of Doctor Strange. Ooh, that's nice. I'm thinking about having that kind of video up on my birthday. That'll be cool. It'd be a special episode. And look. The History of Arcane. If I can get it. There we go. The History of Arcane. We can give that to the Vision when we head back downstairs. And look. Wait. That's a Daredevil action figure. And there's Daredevil down there. Oh my god. That is so meta. I don't know if I'm using it right, but it feels so meta. Let's pick it up. Four of five Daredevil action figures found. Oh, cool. And look down below. And a sketchbook. I want it. Give it to me. All right. There are some people upstairs. Even a ghost of Doctor Strange. Is he dead? Oh, no. No, no, no. It's because he's a sorcerer, he can tell he can have an astral being inside the other in anywhere in the house. That's cool. Let's talk to him. Greetings. I trust you have spoken with Clea about the dark magic she senses. I now sense it. No, I haven't yet. Sorry. 
<clears throat> it is difficult to tell. The magic waits like a creature on the hunt. It lurks in the dark, waiting for its moment to pounce. I'm sorry. All I know for certain is that this dark magic is the work of my arch nemesis, Baron Mordo. Long ago, I had been a doctor of surgery and injured my hands in a car accident. While searching for a cure, I met the Ancient One. Your teacher. And not Deadpool's Grampy. Yes, but at the time his student was Baron Mordo. I discovered Mordo intended to steal the Ancient One's power, and I helped to stop him. Since then, Mordo and I have been bitter at I saw the movie of that, and I actually loved the movie. And in that one, it made... I honestly felt like the movie made... Um... That the fact that he made... Bar that the movie made Baron Mordo a good guy to Doctor Strange. And then ended up... Being a villain. I think that was a pretty cool pace. Oh, minor spoiler over there. Sorry. He grew up in the Himalayan mountains some 500 years ago. <laughs> There he was trained in the mystic arts, but was ultimately forced to battle his treacherous master. The young man then dedicated his life to fighting dark magic and joined the Order of the Ancient Ones. He outlived his compatriots and feared he would die without finding an apprentice. Then he met me. And I'm pretty sure there right. will be people questioning about everything else. I personally like the movie. Let's talk to Clea. Humans, I would warn you, dark magic is stalking this house, waiting to pounce like a wolf in the night. Hey, I like wolves. Wolves are awesome. Doctor Strange's most powerful enemy, Baron Baron Mordo. Well, there goes your words there, Doctor. My name is Clea. I am the Sorceress Supreme of the Dark Dimension. Yes, we are quite well acquainted. Years back, Stephen brought me to Earth, and I became his student. Once I had learned all I could, I returned to my dimension to free it from the corrupt rule of my mother. All I can tell you is, this house, the Sanctum Sanctorum, is the focal point of an immense evil energy. That is what most concerns me. It is happening now, even as we speak, like a menacing vulture. A vile, dark sorcerer who has long been a rival of Stevens. And though he has great, inborn magical powers, Mordo is no match for the mystical might. Long ago, Mordo pretended to be a student of the Ancient One, all the time plotting to take his power. Steven discovered Mordo's deception and attempted to warn the... Of course. And look, some of our heroes are there. Sorry I was a little quiet. I was just trying to have my voice a little bit Hey, less, did you um, see the Professor scratchy. Xavier's here? With him on the case, Jean Grey and Nightcrawler are as good as free. You seem to have a lot of faith in Xavier. <laughs> hey, come on. This is Professor Charles Xavier we're talking about. The guy's never wrong. Huh. I don't know why they were all covered up. I never chose any of them. If they'd been kidnapped by almost any other villain, I'd be fine. But this is Dr. Doom. He doesn't play nice. No, but the guy's super smart. And with brains like his, he's got all the superpowers he needs. Every time I look at the portrait, I think of Iceman. <coughs> but when I listen to him, I think of Titus. What's not to be proud of? Look and a lot of I other work. voice actors Psychos, he's done. Beast, Colossus, Acting Emma he's Frost, done. Sorry. Heavy hitters at the top My of their brain's game. not working. 
Oh, he is one in a billion. Dignified, intelligent, and tough as nails when he has to be. He's the only one who could lead a group like the X-Men. It'd be a shame if something happened to him. Sorry if I sound... <laughs> God, that sounded really heartless. I'm sure she had a perfectly good reason to be lugging that laptop around in the middle of a battle. Even if she was awfully close to Doom's troops. Look, she can't be guilty, okay? And you know why? Because she's why? really hot and I don't want her to be guilty. That's a good reason there, um, Ice Man. That's a really good reason. Be cool. Be cool, Ice Buns. I get it now. <laughs> How funny. Oh, my throat's not gonna have let me have any fun Hi. today, isn't it? How are you? Hello, Spider Woman. Why do men get stupid around you? Oh. You must have seen how Jarvis reacted to me at Stark Tower. It's a pheromone thing. I'm still learning how to control it. A pheromone thing? Yes. You see, I transmit a chemical that makes men very attracted to me. It gets a lot worse when I'm under stress, like during battle. Are you in any relation to Spider-Man? None whatsoever. I'm not his sister, I'm not his cousin he gave blood to, and his powers were never accidentally transferred to me. And you've never dated? Well, he is cute in a geeky sort of way. But with his sense of humor, I prefer to keep my distance. Hmm. Mostly because I have enhanced strength and can stick to walls, like the Web Slinger. But also I have the power to generate bioelectric venom blasts. Spider-Man can't do that. He has to have expensive web fluid in order for him to do that. That is so cool. No. He also hasn't had the training in hand-to-hand -hand combat that I've had. And he can... And you can't and he can't even fly. You can fly though. I honestly question that. Of course it's in a different earth in the Marvel universe, so I don't really know for sure and I can't really assume anything. Hello. How are you? Hi Daredevil. When I first saw you, you were a little red figurine up there by the bookshelves. Now you're over there, lounging on the chair. You mean because of the laptop we found on the helicarrier? No, it's impossible. Um, Black Widow is a lot of things, <clears throat> but she's not a traitor. I know, because I fought beside her, and I've been romantically involved with her. And on a more practical side, A person's heart rate changes when they lie, and Natasha's heart is steady as ever. She has to be telling the truth. Oh yeah, cute hearing. Yes. That's one of the side effects of having radioactive waste dumped on me as a kid. It blinded me, but it also heightened my other senses. I now have a radar-like ability to give me a mental picture of How did you learn to fight so well? That was because a martial artist named Stick trained me how to use my new abilities. Oddly enough, Stick's also blind. A blind man teaching a blind man to fight. Wow. That is Anytime. cool. Alright, let's go downstairs and get the shield modulator for Weasel. Hey, Vision, come here. I need to talk to you. Come here. Ah, you found the book. Thank you. This should help improve my knowledge of the mystical realm. I'd love to find, like, a book like that. But, really, I'm in the real world. Alright, do you still have that security module? The one for accessing shield data? Yes, Could I still have Could you give it. it to us? I suppose there's no harm in that. That was easy. Thank you, Vision. You're welcome. And look at that. I actually ignored that. Pick up five. Or pick up striking upgrade. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold off on that for now. I'll switch to a different character later on in the game. 
So let's go back upstairs. And talk to Hazel. Well, what have we here? Oh, a brand new XJ9 Shield XJ9 Security Shield Module. Shield Security Sweet. Module. Sweet. Sweet. Now I can do some serious hacking. <laughs> go nuts, Weasel. Just go nuts. Do you honestly think any of you can hide from a super hacker like me? There is nowhere on earth you can go that I can't. Track Ironic you down. that you're telling this to Actually, Deadpool. Deadpool told me. I wonder how the conversation would have went if it was just Deadpool. Do you honestly think any of you could hide from a super hacker like me? There's nowhere on earth you can go that I can't track you down. Actually, you told me, Deadpool. Well, I climbed up a drain pipe and crawled in through a window. Then, a plant tried to eat me and, and some tentacles tried to drag me into another oh dimension. Oh my god, dude. Just wait till you get I actually feel bill. sorry for you on that one. Even though you are still walking around, even though you were walking through the lab like a creeper. Nothing new. As far as I know, it's a think tank run by S.H.I.E.L.D. But I'm looking to find out exactly what it is they're thinking about. And still no idea why Black Widow has in had information on the Imperium security, I mean, security system. Well, I bet she's working for the other team, but... <laughs> once I hack into Shield's Black Ops network and get full info on the organization. Cool. Thank you, Weasel. Ah, uh, you can thank me later. With cash. You money grabbing son of a beep. If I knew how to censor myself, I would do that in a heartbeat. But I don't, so let's go back downstairs and we'll switch some heroes. So I'll be right back. Okay, I am back, and instead of Deadpool, I chose to have Doctor Strange in the party. Because Doctor Strange is awesome. So, let's have a look around the house in general with Doctor Strange as the playable character. Oh, hi Wong. Bye Wong. Pick up striking upgrade. Because I can. And look at this item. The Scepter of... Dormammu. Dormammu. I can't have it. Pooh. And that must be the guy. Maybe it's for the best he doesn't have it. He might be an evil guy, so we're not gonna... We're just gonna go walk... O we're gonna float away really slowly. And since I couldn't do this earlier, I'm gonna go into his bedroom. This is a nice home. And look at that. Focus upgrades. For Doctor Strange. Which is one and one. Well that was disappointing. Look at that bed. He's standing on his own bed because he's awesome like that. That's a weird thing. Anyway, let's face that way. Nope, can't close it. The Crystal of Hagoth. Let's have a look around the house. It seems a lot of fun. Strange mission review. Strange trivia. And this must be the Strange Shield Training Generation. No, just Shield Training Simulator. Pooh. Well, that's disappointing. I was expecting some fun out of it. Ah, well. Let's look. I gotta admit, this house is so cool. I wanna live in a house like this. If I could, and if I had the patience to read, I would honestly go ahead and read all the books if I wanted to. And hopefully not have my brain destroyed in the process because of how awesome it is. That's a glitch for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go to the foyer and have a look around. <laughs> See if there's anything that might be interesting. 
Whee. This is so cool. If I could have any power in the Marvel Universe, I would love to have Doctor Strange's power. Being able to use the mystic arts and being able to float like that, that'd be cool. And it'd be useful. Let's go through this corridor and see if it changes anything. Nothing. The moment of truth. Hmm. Oh, that's boring. Oh well. So both corridors take you to the same area. Okay, so what I'm going to do is save and I am back and I figured for this episode I am going to end this special episode. Thank you guys so much for watching my video and thank you guys so much for being so supportive of my work. If you like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button to let you all know when new videos come out. Make sure you click on my notification bell too to be sure you get those videos. Also, make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. It helps support the love. And if you can, share this video with your friends and family. Just let them know that, just let them know you sent them. Anyway, thank you guys so much once again. You guys have been very supportive of me for a very long time, especially for replaying this again. So, with that being said, I'm Shiran91. Happy gaming, everybody!